कॉर्पोरेट फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग एम सी क्यूज पार्ट वन इन दिस इन दिस सीरीज आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द आंसर्स ऑफ ऑल द एम सी क्यूज विच आर देर इन योर एम कॉम सेम फोर टेक्सट बुक्स कॉर्पोरेट फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग विल बी सब्जेक्ट एंड इट विल बी रिलेटेड टू ऑल द एम सी क्यूज विच आर रिलेटेड टू द कॉर्पोरेट फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग so you will just have the answers in this series uh, i mean a correct answer for the mcqs so first mcq is the principal qualitative character of financial statements are under stability relevance reliability transparency these are the qualitative characteristics of financial statement the narrative disclosure that are contained in publish company account cover the answer is both qualitative or quantitative information dash is a combination of accounting assumptions are fundamental according to accounting standard 1 answer is going concern consistency and accurate so going concern consistency and accurate is a combination of accounting assumption are fundamental according to the accounting standard 1 accounting standard is dash the accounting standard is mandatory so your answer is accounting standard is mandatory accounting standard 1 is mandatory next is the purpose of accounting standard 1 is to establish a standard as to disclosure of accounting policy next wide accounting standard 1 fundamental accounting assumption should be disclosed if not followed a concern should select an accounting policy which enables it to present a true and fair views of its state of affairs and profit or loss so your answer is present true and fair values of its state of affairs and profit and loss account okay so the person should select an accounting policy which enables it to to present a true and fair view of its states of affairs and profit or loss next is following is an example of an accounting policy so below all are the example of accounting policy depreciation valuation of stock conversion of foreign currency items treatment of goodwill valuation of fixed asset treatment of retirement benefit recognition of profit on long term contract valuation of fixed asset once again i repeat belows are the example of accounting policy depreciation valuation of stock conversion of foreign currency items treatment of goodwill valuation of fixed asset treatment of retirement benefit recognition of profit on long term contract valuation of fixed asset following factors should be considered while selecting and applying accounting policy first is prudence next is sustained over form of next is materiality okay so these are the following factors which should be considered while selecting and applying accounting policy they are prudence sustained over form materiality next is according to as that is accounting standard 1 disclosure should be made of all significant accounting policy the final account at one place so these are disclosure should be made of according to the as 1 that is all significant accounting policy the final account and at one place according to the accounting standard 1 any change in accounting policy should be disclosed next according to the accounting standard the effect on any change in accounting policy on the value of an item in a final account should also be disclosed according to the accounting standard 1 the effect on any change in accounting policy on the value of an item in the final account cannot be ascertained such fact should be disclosed next one according to the accounting standard 1 if the effect on any change likely to have an effect not in current but in later year should be disclosed in the year in which change is made so according to the accounting standard 
effect on any change line to have a effect not in not in current but later year should also be disclosed in the year in which change is made concern has written of capital expenditure as revenue expenses by disclosing in the note to account that it is a accounting balance policy of the concern to do so according to the accounting standard 1 disclose in the year in which changes is made okay so it has to be disclosed in the year in which changes is made a concern has written off capital expenditure as revenue expenses by disclosing in the notes of account that it is a accounting policy of the concern to do so according to the accounting standard 1 disclosure cannot reveal a wrong entry okay so wrong entry cannot be made under section dash of the companies act 2030 the board of director have to lay before every general meeting the balance sheet the profit and loss account and the director's reports so according to the section 129 of the companies act 2030 the board of director have to lay down lay before every annual general meeting the balance sheet the profit and loss account and the director's report the value of the dash good by the company during the final year calculated by cif basis is not to be disclosed separately in the notes to account that is the answer is exports the value of the dash goods of the by the company during the financial year calculated on cost insurance freight basis is not to be disclosed separately in the notes to account The answer is export. The value of the dash good by the company during the financial year calculated on CIF basis is to be disclosed separately in the note of account. The values which are included is import of raw good, import of capital goods, import of spare parts and components. Okay, so value of a import of raw material, import of capital good, import of spare part and component goods by the company during the financial year calculated. on cif basis is to be disclosed separately in the notes to account the earning in foreign exchange from exports of goods are disclosed in notes to account on fob basis so the earning in foreign exchange from exports of goods are disclosed in the notes to account on free on board basis The public financial statement of most company includes the following it's include director's report and in includes auditor's reports so director reports and auditor report are published financial statement of most company who is responsible for selecting accounting policy and ensuring that the financial statement give a true and fair value it is the board of director who is responsible for selecting accounting policy and ensuring that the financial statements give a true and fair value which of the following items must be included in the director's report the value of any dividend proposed for payment any changes in the principal activities of the company which of the following items which must be included in the board director's report it is the value of a dividend proposed for payment any change in the principal activity of the company as well as the opinion of the external auditor publish annual report normally includes income stand statement and statement of financial position okay so as well as the opinion of the external auditor publish annual reports normally includes what income tax statement and statement of financial position that is your balance sheet so in this part we have covered 25 mcqs in the part 2 we will cover more 25 mcqs from the corporate finance account so for more mcqs please prefer subscribing and click on notification bell icon for the next part thank you